Hi guys, Donny Good here for Real Home Studio. Today, taking a look at SSQ from Analog Obsession. And just before we dive straight in, I want to remind you to please like, subscribe, and if you've got something to say, then please do drop it in the comments box below. Okay, so here we are with SSQ from Analog Obsession, uh, quite obviously based on an SSL EQ. Um, just had a quick dig online, and apparently it's based on a stripped down 611. E series. Um, for those of you who aren't so familiar with an SSL EQ, let's have a very quick look at the plugin and uh, what it can offer. So on the far left, we've got high and low pass filters, and we can um, knock them on and off uh, with this uh, uh, button switch here. Uh, next along, the brown knobs are for low frequency, so you can boost and attenuate with the top knob, and uh, you can move through the uh, low frequency band here with the knob below, and you can also punch in and out this bell curve. Uh, button two and then in the center we've got the low uh, mid frequency and the high mid frequency so the tops uh, top buttons here you can attenuate and boost and then you can sweep through your frequencies uh, from here and here and then your two knobs here you can change the nature of the bell curve and then the high frequency much like the low frequency uh, you can boost and attenuate and then you can move through the frequencies and the right hand side you've got a bell switch as well there and on the right hand side we've got input and output and a little switch there too now the input itself is gain compensated so you're not going to get that volume boost but you are going to get that analog uh, goodness if you will from the plugin itself uh, into the center here uh, where we've got uh, the analog obsession logo if we click on that then we enable four times over sampling Okay, so let's check it out. Um, so on this particular uh, vocal, I did have um, a little bit of SSL uh, E-series uh, in the uh, chain. So I thought this would be a good opportunity to put it head to head with SSQ uh, and take a listen to what's going on. So here's the vocal uh, at the moment. I don't wanna hurt nobody. Talk about time you and I don't worry. We're in sync. I'm unbreakable. Let's bring in uh, the SSL from Waves. Again, this is the E channel. Uh, and let's take a listen. I don't want to hurt nobody. Talk about time you and I don't worry. We're in sync. I'm unbreakable. I don't want to hurt nobody. Talk about time you and I don't worry. We're in sync. So it's kind of brightened up the vocal a little bit. Maybe sounds a little bit brittle to my ears, but it, as I remember, worked uh, in the mix and I've taken out some of that low end too. Okay, so what I've done is now set up uh, the SSQ with uh, identical settings uh, to uh, the e-channel from Waves. Uh, let's take a listen to this and then I'm going to do a little bit of comparison so you guys can flip between the two and uh, have a really good listen. So um, here's with, uh, without and then I'll bring SSQ in. I'm unbreakable. I don't want to hurt nobody. Talk about time you I don't worry. We're in sync. I'm unbreakable. I don't want to hurt nobody. Talk about time you and I don't worry. We're in sync. I'm unbreakable. I don't want to hurt nobody. Talk about time you and I don't worry. We're in sync. I'm unbreakable. I don't want to hurt nobody. Talk about time you and I don't worry. Let's take a listen to those two in the mix. So first of all, the waves SSL. Now I think those two are incredibly close together, um, especially when you consider that the Analog Obsession uh, plugin is uh, technically free, right? Um, obviously the E channel is a full channel strip, um, but just looking and listening to the EQ itself, there's not very much in it at all. If anything, I would say, and I was doing some really critical listening to this earlier, that I think the SSQ might be a touch rounder 
But as I say, there's not really very much in it at all. And it's very hard to tell once they're both sitting in the mix. Love to know your thoughts, guys, um, and your ears and what, what you you guys can hear. OK, let's move on. OK, so now we've got SSQ uh, on the electro snare of the very same track we were just listening to. I've pushed the uh, gain compensated input a little bit, um, running the high pass filter at around 90 hertz, I think. Um, and a, a bit of a boost on the uh, low frequency for a little bit more body of the snare and a couple of boosts as well on the high mids and the high frequency for a little bit more crunch from the snare. So let's just take a listen to the snare on its own and then I'll bring in SSQ. So I'll just drop that one out and let's take a listen to the snare uh, uh, soloed. And let's bring in SSQ. And back out. A little bit hard to listen to, I think, on its own. So let's bring it into the mix and take a listen. So first of all, um, with SSQ out, and then I'll bring it in. I'm on. There you go, SSQ. I think that certainly uh, was easier to listen to in the mix. It certainly served to just bring a bit more body to that snare and bring it a bit more 3D and bring it a bit more forward in the mix. Uh, I've really enjoyed using SSQ. I think as it's uh, moved forward through its uh, different versions now, uh, this one being version 6, the GUI has become very, very uh, nice to use. Uh, it's very easy to look at, easy on the eyes, and indeed easy on the ears. A very musical uh, EQ indeed. Um, and it's another big win for Analog Obsession. What can I say? These are just great plugins coming from uh, the Analog uh, Obsession Patreon site, which you can grab for free right now. The link will be in the description below. I do hope you enjoyed that video today. I hope you found it useful. If you did, please remember to like, subscribe. Most importantly, have yourself a great day.